Hello, this is Solar Smash. Yeah, I made a tutorial about this game like, I don't know, seven months ago. And it went pretty well. So here I am making another one. So anyway, basically, I'm just gonna show all of the Easter eggs and secret planets because the other tutorial is now outdated. And also, a bunch of people kept complaining that the planets wouldn't work. They're just bad. So there is a bunch of new features since when I last played it. Like this weird alien thing that changed. They also added this weird alien invasion thing. It's pretty cool, not gonna lie. And then there's this weird question mark thing, which I'm gonna be showing you how to get. So, mm, watch the whole video. Oh, well, this is certainly a new planet. So anyway, I'm gonna begin with the secret planets. Uh, so for the first one, it's pretty basic and simple. You're just gonna get this evil purple man, and you're just gonna smash Earth. You literally just gotta smash it until... Hey, there we go. And then now on your planets, you will get a bunch of random boring achievements and you'll get this cool planet. Woo. This planet has weird physics though. So shooting it just does that. Yeah. Anyway, enough about that. For the second secret planet, all you need to do is go to Earth again because who doesn't love destroying our own planet? And you literally just got to freeze it. This one's pretty painful. It takes a while. Anyway, guys, you should subscribe and like the video. Because that would be really cool. If there's a faster way to do this, please tell me. Hey, we got the achievement! I turned Earth into a snowball. Forget about that part, that's not important. Anyway, now we're on like a cool snowman. He's ugly. The snowman is kind of invincible, by the way. Yeah, this looks normal. Anyway, for the next secret planet, you have to use these cool grid line things. And this is where all the little people go into my comments and spam stuff because they suck at moving balls. You see how there's like a square box? You want to put them just over halfway so that you can just see the corners of the earth. Otherwise, it won't work. So make sure you're doing this properly. And if it doesn't work, try again. Don't spam comments. Then you just gotta spam the sides of the earth with missiles. Might lag a little bit. Now, all I remember you have to do is reset the planet, and then you will get the cube planet. Oh, yes! See, uh, it worked. If it didn't work, try again. And again. And again. But it still works as of today, so it's not broken. For the next planet, we once again have to have the Earth, because the Earth loves suffering. And then once again, we have to use these weird grid line things. So for flat Earth, which is what we're doing, we are going to have to make like a plate shape. So you need the X and Z, not the Y. The Y is not important. So put the X and the Z to the very furthest. And it should look like this. Now all you have to do is get those really powerful missile things and blast the Earth to pieces. Pretty simple. Also, if it's not completely flat and you don't think the missiles are doing anymore, you can use this orange beamy thing and flatten it. Anyway, that looks good. Now we just restart the planet and you should get the flat Earth. Woo! We did it, guys! Woo! And then you can shoot the sun into the Earth because physics. Next planet. So we want to put the X and the Z to max again. And for the Y, maybe about three grid lines. That should work. About this size. Then just destroy the sides again. There we go. And then now we have to remove the force field thing. And then this is the tricky part. You have to like cut a hole in the middle. I recommend using this yellow beamy thing because it's good. And the hole has to be fairly big. Maybe like that size. And then what you gotta do is reset the planet. Boom, there we go. We got the donut. This planet is very weird because gravity. Yes. To unlock the next planet, you need to choose the planet destroying machine and shoot it at the earth. This one's all about timing, by the way. So as soon as the machine shoots the earth, you have to wait until it leaves. It'll like teleport away. And the second it teleports away, you wanna reset the planet. So now. If you don't do it in time, you'll have to do it again, but then you get a pumpkin planet. I really like this planet. You can make some cool shapes. You need to use a secret planet to unlock a secret planet. Makes sense. So you need to choose the snowman, and then you really just get the planet destroying machine again because that's just how it works. Shoot at the snowman, wait until it leaves, and then simply just reset the planet. And that's how you unlock the gingerbread man planet. I hope he likes balls. Anyway, we need the cube planet for the next one. Really just send a healing missile, and then when the healing missile explodes, you just reset the planet. And that is how you unlock the Minecraft planet. It's pretty cool, actually. 
So to unlock the lightsaber down here, all you have to do is get these missiles and change the number at the bottom, which is how many missiles there are, to 66. Then you just shoot the planet and that's how you unlock the lightsaber. Don't ask me why shooting 66 missiles gives you a lightsaber. And then the next easter egg is that when you use a dragon, if you click on this target symbol up here, then you can actually ride the dragon. Very cool. Anyway, then the next easter egg, it's, I can't really say this one's an easter egg, but it's pretty cool still. So send the battleship into the earth, you get to see how the battleship thing is invincible. That's pretty cool. And for the last easter egg, there is a red button underneath my channel name. If you press that, you get unlimited powers and cool stuff. So yes, goodbye.